Hey guys, Chris here. So today is not gonna be a car video because my channel is not just cars. It's uh, something I love to do, but it's not the only thing I do. So here's, a, here's the deal. Um, I got rid of my bench about two months ago, um, my, uh, my workout bench, because I was doing all this. So I didn't have any drywall in here, it was just studs. Um, it was a mess. It was just a regular garage and I wanted to turn it into a little bit more of a working garage um, Which I did we did drywall paint new lighting as you can see and I st I'm still working on some of that um, Because they're not all in yet, but so currently what I'm doing is um, I love going to the gym like I said a few years back I made a big change in my health and started going to the gym uh, So I need a bench. I can't go to the gym. We have coronavirus Kind of scary to be out, and I think my gym's already closed um, for the most part anyway. So what I want to do is here on this empty space where I was going to put a regular bench, um, I'm going to do a wall-mounted squat rack, which will act as my bench as well. So I've got a cap. I'll show you guys what I bought, and I've got some more stuff coming. Uh, a cap uh, adjustable bench, utility bench there. Then I got Valor foldable squat rack um, and uh, some more parts to it. And I also got some dip bars that go to the um, squat rack. It's made for that squat rack. So here's the deal. I was going to go Rogue and Rogue has a very nice system. Same, same thing, uh, just Rogue. So a little bit you know, higher quality. But my issue with Rogue was it was going to be $550 for the actual system. And then they wanted an expensive amount of shipping. It was going to end up being about $900. I'm sorry, $900. Bucks. $860 like something dollars shipped with taxes and all. And that's not even including the dip, uh, the dip uh, bars. So I'll wait maybe till they do a Black Friday sale and I might you know sell this one and go to that one. Um, if I like this one, I'll just stay with this one. But the bottom line is this. I don't, I can't pay $800 for something that's going to be hanging on my wall. It's going to be used, but there's other systems out there like this one for $300. Uh, and it's at my house shipped 300 bucks. So, okay. I saved 500 bucks. I probably dropped some quality, but we'll find out. And again, if it's a sale, like a Black Friday sale, I can always get it and um, sell this one for a, a little bit of a discount. So, so what I'm doing right now, guys, is I got this stud buddy, which is my favorite stud finder. It's just really strong magnets. And, you know, wherever the stud is, it'll stop. At least give you some tension and you'll find your stud. So there's one there. There's one obviously there by this wall plug. And just, by, just follow the line down and you're going to keep hitting them. If you go too far and you feel like you didn't hit it, Kind of, there it goes. So kind of move around until you do hit it. Anyway, so we're gonna find our studs first. All right guys, so we just lost our cheap Amazon tripod. Um, don't buy one of those. Here's everything laid out and I've already found a problem. All right, so here's two things. One, no lag bolts. Two is, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but those bars are huge. In other words, uh, I can only fold them enough to hit my cinder blocks. And my cinder blocks stick out about three inches. Um, unconventional, not like normal garage, like not everyday garages, because this, this is a detached garage, not an attached garage. It's just a big building. <clears throat> anyway, so I'll be able to close them Almost, but not full. I think I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because if you look here, when I put one up against here, um, I still have a lot of room saved on, compared to um, not having that room with a regular squat tower. Um, so we're good with that. Okay, next is I need to go to Lowe's and probably purchase some lag bolts, uh, maybe like three inch, should be do should be fine. I got two by four walls, so no reason to go bigger than three inch. So I'm gonna go to Lowe's, get a couple uh, uh, bolts, and I will be back. We're gonna use an 18 millimeter socket and an 18 millimeter wrench here to get it done.
all right guys so here it is um complete for the most part so i had to modify a couple things and i will come back and fix that one is my cinder blocks right there are too high so i had to come up one hole it has to be down here i came up one hole and now i have a no hole up here so i have to drill so here um, is going to be a two by six here's a two by six they're um, screwed into studs here, here, and here. So we got three stud uh, hits on them. They're not going anywhere. Same thing on the bottom, and there's an actual plate on the bottom, like a, a wall plate, which the wall sit on. So those are also screwed to the plates and to the two by fours. So this is not going anywhere. <clears throat> the cool thing is that I can still, so you gotta take out a couple of things here. You gotta take this guy out. You gotta take out this one here, excuse me. Um, gotta take these out first. So the middle, the pull-up bar comes out. Also, st stabilizer bar. Then you pull out these four red guys here. Excuse me, from the camera, same time. All right, so now we got all four done. Excuse me, I I'm holding the camera because my freaking tripod broke. Anyway, then you can kind of lift just gently lift on them and turn them in and there's where you get your space saving from so again lift and kind of turn it in and that tape out of the way and there you go so they don't close all the way due to my um cinder blocks but that's not bad so i got like three inches barely three inches sticking out that's not a big deal to me again that looks pretty good i'm gonna paint the the risers, which is those two by sixes, to match my garage. And then I'm gonna put my baseboard, I'm gonna fill in the baseboard right there where it's missing. Pretty good, Valor Fitness a squat rack. It's called the, um, the BD20. So the BD-20 is definitely highly recommended so far. I'll let you guys know any like uh, quirks along the way. It does have these numbers here that you can kind of use as references for when you're using it for squatting, benching, whatever you're doing there. So that's pretty cool. Hey guys, Chris here. Um, so yesterday we put together um, the squat rack and earlier today when I got off work, uh, which was not long ago, um, I put together this uh, weight holder, the plate holder, which is holding my actual plates. And what I bought was the X mark. Um, so these guys here, which are rubber um, exterior, just so they're easy on my floors. If I, I'm doing, you know, whatever deadlifts or whatever, if I have to put them down, um, they're not gonna damage my floors, which it's gonna be hard to damage these floors anyway. But anyway, so uh, squat rack was yesterday. I showed you guys uh, a glimpse of my bench here, which is the cap uh, bench. And I know some people that have had this bench and said good things about it, so I went with this one, um, which is obviously gonna sit under my squat rack. And my squat rack folds like I showed you, so it'll probably stay a long ways against that one. I didn't wanna save room.
All right, guys, so I um, finished with the bench and I learned a couple of things. Uh, one is the directions are really easy to follow if you follow them all the way through. And um, two is they have this system where I've never seen before, but it's pretty cool. So each bolt goes to one step and then they have the next row to the next step, the next row to the next step. Um, pretty much you're following it downwards. But anyway, that's pretty cool because you don't have to have a bunch of bolts and a bunch of numbers. Um, so a couple things, you're pretty much doing this here. Let me show you. You're putting on these two, uh, these legs, this one and this one on the main frame with two bolts on each side. No washers, surprisingly, on, on those. I don't know why not. Anyway, then you put on this pad and this pad here with also uh, four bolts each. Four bolts there, four bolts there. Then you put on, um, which in, it doesn't have to be in this order exactly, you could put on these um, adjustment deals to the frames. And um, once you do that, uh, that's, that's pretty much done. The bench is done. Uh, cap is kind of surprisingly, uh, surprising me lately with um, the quality of the uh, build quality. So overall, um, pretty nice. I don't have any complaints yet, but we'll see about, we'll see what, you know, what comes later. There's wheels on the back to where you use the handle to lift it and wheel it uh, into position. And uh, we'll see how that goes. This, uh, this squat rack is Valor. That rack is Titan. This rack over here, the plate rack. And uh, again, I pieced it together with price, price in mind, uh, what I wanted. Uh, these racks usually don't come with four, um, those, sorry, the plate rack over there don't usually come with four placements. They come with two and then, and then you gotta put them how you want. But four is nicer for me because I can put all my stuff together. I again used two by sixes there to uh, mount it to the wall, to the studs. And then I mounted the actual uh, plate holder to the two by sixes. It gives you much more stability, much better overall. I did not drill the floor yet for that floor. There's a floor flange down there and I didn't drill it. Um, I'll see how it goes. There's a lot of pressure on the floor anyway, the way it's leaning. I don't think I'll need it, but if I do, I have the bolts, I'll drill it. I just don't wanna drill my concrete if I don't have to. So um, yeah, and then um, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll come back with a re review later on this system and uh, got a, a, mo a couple more things in the pipeline. So, um, yep, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like my content, and I'll continue making videos. Have a good one.